here we go again. One more transit plan for the city of Toronto. We think it's very important that we bring the city together as one city. And for TTC Chair Karen Stintz, so begins the political fight to get her vision off the ground and underground, so to speak, with a plan to build 170 kilometers of new rail line over the next 30 years. The first phase would be extending the subway from Kennedy Station to McCowan, replacing the SRT. We've got the most, you know, the most, the most unacceptable level of gridlock anywhere in North America. It's time for the city to step forward and make a change. And to do so, the plan would require a lot of change, $30 billion worth, and you would be the primary investor. The cost for the average household in the city would be $45 for the first year, working up to $180 after four years. It would remain at that amount for as long as required, potentially 30 years. It will be reflected in your property tax and it would be a dedicated transit fund. This works out to about $8 billion. The provincial and federal governments would be asked to pick up the rest of the tab. But at this stage, there is no guarantee of that money coming. The mayor's team dubs the plan Tax City hasn't been thought out properly. This is going to be a tax on every business in the city. It's going to be a tax on every renter in the city, and it's going to be a tax on every resident in the city. So we did the math. $180 a year works out to $3.50 a week. 50 cents more than the cost of a TTC token. It's cheap. I think it's more than reasonable. Long term, being on the TTC every day, I could see myself being willing to pay that. So the vision is laid out. It'll be up to City Council to determine whether the vision's too blurry to give it the green light. Toronto has a great history of planning transit and not such a good history in building transit. And today's the day we like to turn the page on that history. So what's next? Well, the transit plan will be presented to City Council in July. It would then go to a vote in October. And if, and this is a big if, all is approved, the first shovels in the ground could be as early as 2015. But you can bet this is going to be a very long summer, given the back and forth and the divisions that exist between the one city proponents and the mayor and his allies. And back to you.